Here's my advice for fellow photographers regarding laptops. I got an email today from Scott saying, sorry if I'm wasting your time, but I've been flying for uh, that. Don't worry, you're not wasting my time. If you are, I won't reply. Um, so anyway, he's into photography. I recently started earning some money from it, uh, but not as a main job. Okay, so you've got a little bit of pocket money to spend. I feel that I now need to upgrade my laptop to cope with the large bombardment, no, bombarding of images uh, I now receives each weekend. I don't know whether to take the plunge and go for MacBook Pro or play it safe and go with Windows format, possibly a Dell XP15. Any advice would be appreciated. Okay, this is a, a, a dangerous area to go into, um, or, or for me to do a video on, because you'll have the Mac boys going, oh, I only get a Mac, Macs are so superior in every way, and then you have the PC people going, don't get a Mac, they're so expensive, they're, they're rubbish, uh, I can build a laptop for so much more power and blah blah blah, it's a minefield. You're just going to get uh, just crap from everyone. In fact, Check the comments below on this video, I bet there'll be some interesting comments there. <laughs> I hope there are. First of all, what we'd say, if you are going from, a, if you're dicing between um, a laptop, a Apple or PC, the good thing is with the Adobe Lightroom, I'm, a, I'm assuming you use Adobe Lightroom for cataloging and quick editing of your images. The one file, the one CD that you have of that, or the one file that you've got of that, works for both Mac and PC, so you don't need to um, buy another software, which is very, very handy. Um, if you're going into video stuff, then you've got to get different software for uh, each. Or you can use Adobe Premiere Pro on both, uh, that, that sort of thing. But you've asked just pretty much about photos here. So my advice is less about the, uh, whether it's Mac or PC, but more about what it is as important in a MacBook or in a, in a in a laptop. So I've actually just gone to the Dell website and I'll put whatever I can find that's good from Amazon in the link down below, um, and just give you some little tips. Okay, first of all, you've got options of screen size. I would say for me, if I am shooting something like a wedding, and I just need a computer with me which uh, I can just dump my photos on like halfway through the ceremony and do some quick edits and potentially put photos up on a projector during the reception part or the, the disco part at the end of the wedding. All I'm going to want is the smallest computer possible so it's the less weight, less things to fall, couple connections for USB cables and then that's me sorted. So just a small screen there. However, if this is something which you're thinking, I'm going to be editing on and I want to be looking at my photos a bit more carefully, and it's something which you're going to be effectively using as a home computer, but you just don't have the space for all the gubbins that comes with a home computer, then uh, get the biggest screen possible. Uh, I say fanning around with 11 to 14, 15, 16, I have no idea why would, it's either get the smallest, the 10 inch, for being as portable as possible, or get the 17 and up if you're going for something which you're going to be working on. Because the bigger the screen, this is so much more easy to work on instead of having to go really close to the computer the whole time and really straining your eyes. Uh, so go for the biggest screen you can possibly get, um, which is in your budget. Uh, the next thing they're saying is display. So you can get laptops now which have a touch screen display. I would say avoid that. Avoid that like the plague. Because all you're going to get is lots of fingerprints all over your screen. And yes, yeah, yeah, you can wipe it off, but it's a pain in the ass. Don't bother. It, it, it will save you money. Don't bother getting a touch screen uh, on your computer. Processor wise, pretty much so many processors, processors are so awesome nowadays. Um, that you don't really need to worry about that. I would say don't go for the cheapest, obviously. Go for like third gen core i3. That's pretty, that's about as pompous as it's going to get. But I would say aiming for the i5 uh, and up, uh, i3s probably don't bother. And in fact, I would say here that probably a third gen i7 uh, would be better than a fourth gen i3 or even an i5, I would say. So it's more the i and the number is probably more important nowadays. Memory, so what you're saying is you're getting a lot of photos. Photos, fortunately, don't take up as much information uh, as video does. Video is just massive files all the time. Um, if you are doing video, go for the eight gigs plus, as many 
uh, bits of RAM that you can shove into your laptop as possible, the better. And also go for the computer which has the fastest RAM available to use as well. If it's slow RAM, so slow nowadays is around about the, I was at 1066. Um, uh, RAM you can get up to, I think it's about 1600 uh, now. So if you can get a computer which has the fastest RAM, that makes editing so much smoother. Uh, if you can get like six, if you can shove in 16 gigs of fast RAM, uh, that will be what really makes your computer. In my Mac, which I've got here just now, I've got uh, 16, uh, or have I got 32? No, 16 gigs in here, um, but it's not the fastest RAM that there is. It was the fastest that I could get at the time, which goes with this computer. You can't really get I don't think you're meant to put in faster RAM than what your computer is able to currently use. And um, certainly not slower as well. Or you can't, I can't remember. There are certain rules about that. People down below will be able to explain that. Um, but if I go, yeah, if I go and check the memory here, I've got 16 gigs in here. Uh, and that is 1067 uh, megahertz DDR3. Um, I've got an uh, iCore 5, which I was, uh, th this was a quad core in here. So that's pretty four cores. Uh, going pretty fast and uh, that's this has done me since when did I get this does it say when I got this I got this in 2009 so this is now five years old and it still runs like an absolute dream uh, I've never had a problem with it whatsoever so uh, I, I bought the most expensive which I could at the time which I could afford and it's done me fantastically for five awesome years so maybe it's time for me to upgrade but at the moment I don't see any point of upgrading when it's still working like a dream. And it's such a massive screen that I've got here. Um, I've got a 27 inch Mac. But anyway, you're not talking about that, so that's not important. Anyway, back to uh, the this other ones. Storage, again, so although we all love to put our photos onto external hard drives, and I would say highly get uh, like two terabyte hard drives, I've, I've just got bundles of them now. Um, I use about by three at a time. Uh, on your actual laptop as well, you probably want a lot of gigs as well because if you're doing a lot of photos, there's lots of backing up and potentially there's like going to be like a couple of weeks where you don't have time to back it up to a hard drive or there's going to be like a wedding, then a party, then this, and you'd be keeping up loads of photos. If you're shooting also with like a, a Nikon D800, the files are all pretty big and once you've done all the editing, it'd be even bigger. If, I would say uh, go, don't go for a 500 gigabytes. That's going to run out pretty damn quickly. Unless, of course... Like Kim, uh, my wife, she's got a, a MacBook Pro and it's only got like 300 gigs on it, but it's not even nearly full. She she goes on the internet once in a while on it uh, and, and uses it for pretty much no reason whatsoever. Apart from I steal it and I take it to weddings so it's nice and small. But uh, if you're using this as a work base, get the most amount of storage, 750 or a terabyte, uh, I would say is the minimum to get uh, if you're using it as a workstation. Cool, so for me to put in uh, the stuff into the Dell website, the ones which I've like, kind of gone for, so the, the 8 gigs of memory, the biggest screen and all that kind of stuff, it's coming up to a very reasonable £579. So that is probably about half the price is what you're going to pay on a Mac. In fact, let's go have a little look at what happens if we try with Mac. And with Mac, it looks like uh, you're going to be struggling with anything. So the cheapest one is £999, and that's a 13-inch uh, tiddly little one. If we're going for a larger one, oh, it only goes up to 15 inches uh, uh, with the retina display, but oh, £2,199, my God. Um, let, let's, uh, let's play the game of how much it would cost if we're to spec this up. Okay, so this is a 2.3 uh, gigahertz quad core i7. Oof, that is, uh, or boost up to 3.5. Bloody hell, that's powerful. If we go to the one which we had, we had, uh, where did we get it? We had the 2.6 gigahertz uh, i5. So this, if we were to go there, if 2.6 quad core i7 boost up to that, uh, We've added on an extra £200. Ouch. Storage, I've said, let's do a terabyte. Not needing a USB super drive or Apple Thunderbolt, uh, although that would be kind of cool. Keyboard, no. Final Cut Pro X, well, that's what I would say if you're doing videos, uh, but we're not adding that in and all that stuff. So there's not really a huge amount of extra things about if you can customise into the laptops, it seems, but that comes out to more than £2,000 more expensive than what you're getting at the Dell. So effectively, 
if some people are saying a, a Mac will last you a lot longer than a PC, fair enough. However, you could effectively buy a new one of these every year for five years. Uh, no, yeah, f uh, for more than five years to come to the same price as one MacBook Pro with a smaller screen. Uh, so I would say go with Mac if you're going to be doing lots of videos. Um, it's usually a bit more streamlined uh, and it comes with, or you can get it to come along with uh, Final Cut Pro X, which is an extra 200 pounds. That'd be bringing this one up to about three grand. Oh, phew, don't know about it. Personally, if you're going for laptops, get a PC and if you uh, get, get a normal PC version and if you have to, get a new one every two years or something because it'll still be cheaper than getting a Mac. Uh, but if you're getting a desktop, I would I would recommend an iMac because it's just so big, clean, smooth and, and wonderful uh, and in terms of price, far more understandable than the, the laptops there. Uh, so that's just my little tips, but uh, let me hear what all you guys think. Cheers, bye-bye.